This is breaking news from 4 News Now. Good afternoon for 4 News Now. I'm Rob King. We have breaking news right now in central or about east side of Spokane. Uh, it looks like a brush fire has broken out along I-90. Let me go ahead and pull up what we're seeing here. So here's the map of the region. This is SRTMC, which is uh, a, a traffic resource that we use and allows us to pull up these traffic cameras here. If you go ahead and zoom in down to I-90 around Altamont, Here's where it is. Here's the Freya Street cam. You can see we'll full screen that. Look at that fire just tearing up that hillside right there. Traffic is impacted in both directions, it's looking like right now. Fortunately, fire crews are on scene, but you can just see those flames rising. They look uh, almost 10, 20 feet high in the air. And again, we see at least three engines. Uh, no details right now on any closures in the area. We are currently monitoring. I am going to see if we have any new information from Spokane Fire Department. Not sure yet if that's county or city. Uh, based off the area though, uh, I would think that is Spokane City Fire. You can see Look at those flames on the right hand side or kind of the center of the screen, but the right hand side of the fire. Uh, it looks like it's moving very quickly, just tearing through that brush. And uh, we're not sure quite what started it right now, but we have been having these uh, recent weathery conditions uh, that are just really conducive for these types of fires. You know, it's been really dry historically so, and um, we're also not getting uh, a lot of rain so what's happening is couple that with some wind activity and suddenly you get these conditions that are just perfect for a wildfire uh, it looks like some of that heavy smoke that's billowing off that flame on the center of your screen right now is going to be due to crews spraying that with water which is a good sign that heavy smoke hopefully uh, getting that fire uh, squashed pretty quickly here. We just found out about this within the last hour, uh, working on finding out more information. And uh, it looks like we are, or do have someone on scene heading into that area. 4 News Now's Brian Neal in the area. Uh, so we'll see what kind of information he's able to garner. Uh, looks like traffic backing up. Let me go ahead and unfull screen this for a moment. And uh, you can see traffic impacted. That's several miles in both directions of I-90. Uh, looks like traffic backed up on the eastbound side to about Sherman Street and on the westbound direction backed up to uh, the Sprague exit. We'll go ahead and pull up this full screen again. As you can see, this is live look at Altamont off the I-90. This is the Freya Street camera. And this is a resource that you have access to at home as well. Uh, you know, we're happy to provide it for you, but you can go to SRTMC and access these traffic cameras. Uh, so yeah, you can see Spokane Fire on the scene. Fortunately, a couple people on the freeway as well looking around. Uh, hopefully they're out of the danger zone as well too. And uh, we've been, you know, we've been talking to Matt Gray and Matt Gray, our meteorologist has been following this, these historically dry conditions that have been continuing, really persevering. Uh, according to Matt, it's been about three weeks since we last had rain here in the Spokane Metro. So that's creating these really dry conditions. And you can see crews right now, a lot of hoses on that fire, causing that smoke to billow in the air. But fortunately, at least, it looks like that side of the freeway is still open, so crews are getting a handle on it. If you look at the screen, too, you see that green brush. That's going to be a little more difficult to burn, so not quite as dry. Maybe that area has been getting some water uh, from perhaps a sprinkler system, but uh, does not look brown, dry brush as you might expect. But again, Spokane Fire looks like they're doing a great job there. This is some really good video. We don't see a lot of this. A lot of times by the time we're hearing about a fire, it's uh, almost on its way out. But this one uh, causing a lot of uh, visibility issues looks like on the freeway as well. I'm surprised it's still open. Usually once you start getting smoke across the lanes, uh, Spokane Fire might close the freeway, but it looks like it, it, traffic is still moving through that area, albeit, like we said, backed up 
to about Sprague, where the freeway starts to bend heading in towards Liberty Lake. Um, but again, it's good to see Spokane fire, the quick response. We just found out about this fire within the last 20 minutes or so, right around the uh, top of the one o'clock hour. And now it's kind of hard to even see the burned areas on the side of the freeway due to that smoke. So drivers, if you are in this area, uh, be sure to slow down. It's very important. You can see cars are already kind of slowing down and that's gonna be part due to that traffic backup. But as that water hits those hot spots, especially in some of that um, looks like greener vegetation, it's just gonna create a lot of smoke in that area, which is what we're seeing right now. And again, if you're just now joining us, this is a WashDOT resource that we're streaming right now uh, off I-90 on the uh, west, or excuse me, eastbound side of I-90 uh, at Freya Street, or excuse me, westbound I-90 at Freya, apologies, uh, right around Altamont too is where that's gonna be burning. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at traffic. We could probably pull out and again, we do have these other cameras here. So let's try to pull up one. Yeah, you can see this is uh, I-90 at Havana Street. Yeah, you can see fire crews. It looks like they are starting to either drive into that area or shut down that part of the freeway. Either way, it's very slow moving. As the WashDOT camera zooms out, that's not our zoom, that's their zoom. Um, but that's zooming out. You can see plumes of smoke into the sky. And again, traffic backed up. We can take another camera that's a little further up the road. Let's see if we can get a a wider view of this. Here's I-90 at Sprague where, yeah, see where that slowing starting or is beginning right around there, I-90 at Sprague. You can see some cars are getting off there. Looks like they might be aware of what's going on up ahead. So several miles of slowing expected in that area. Here's uh, I-90 at Fancher Road. Uh, yeah, you can see the smoke in the distance there. Traffic backed up. That's several miles of slowing along westbound I-90. Uh, let's go back to where the fire is. Let's see if we can get any more information gleaned from this. It looks like this camera expanded out a little bit too. You can see down, uh, let me remove this lower third real quick. You can see down in the bottom right corner. Yeah, it looks like they are starting to at least shut down a couple lanes on the right hand side of the freeway. Fortunately, crews are now on that embankment as well. You can see a couple uh, members of Spokane Fire out there now as they a couple more start moving in a couple on the freeway starting to hit those hot spots that are still burning. Looks like the majority of the flames have been put out fortunately and some of that smoke also starting to reside. Uh, let's take a look at what we're seeing on the eastbound side of the freeway. Yeah, Arthur Street not looking too bad right now. Looks like they might have avoided traffic there. And then I-90 at Hamilton. Yeah, you can see. So this is from the other side. This is watching eastbound traffic, people driving toward East Spokane. You can see that smoke in the distance there. Traffic backed up, slowed. Vehicles getting off at Altamont right there. That looks, or it looks to be the Altamont exit on the eastbound side of the freeway. I can't really see that there. But uh, as we go back now to the Freya Street camera, which is showing us this great view of the fire burning on the side of I-90. Uh, you can see right there, crews walking along the freeway. So it looks like they are at least leaving the left lane open right now. The far left lane uh, looks to still be moving. But other than that, looks like other lanes are shut down as fire crews do get a handle on that. So it's just a quick little wildfire. We will work on trying to get more details, see if we can't get a cause of this. And again, we'll have whatever details we can garner now, we will provide those coming up tonight in 4 News Now at 5. Uh, but for now, live in studio, I'm Rob King for KXLY+.